Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. If you're around the Champlain Valley and you've been out over the last hour or so, you know that it has become quite damp <laughs> after a chunk of the day where not that much was going on. But I want to make some stops where the rain is coming down and we're seeing this in Burlington. You could follow this back into Essex County in northern New York, right along the Adirondack Northway here. It is pretty darn wet. You could follow this right on down past Lewis and also E-Town. Meanwhile, to the north, Plattsburgh, still some raindrops around, not as wet as it was because rain had been coming down at a pretty good clip. We're seeing that just south of the city now, but over toward places like South Hero and into Georgia, we've got some rain and look at this in northern New York. It becomes a little more hit and miss here over toward Ellenburg. We've got some rain, but yeah, it's going to be wet for a while here because we've got a cold front that is going to go through. Eventually, it's going to drag this all away from the Champlain Valley, but in eastern Vermont down to the south, going to take a little bit longer to get rid of this stuff, but it sets us up for what looks to be a pretty nice day coming in tomorrow. And as we thought would happen, turned out to be pretty mild today. You know, right now it's 72 in Rutland, 71 degrees Bennington. We've got upper 60s, parts of the Champlain Valley, and this is going to find, uh, you know, as we do clear, we're going to find temperatures beginning to drop a little bit tonight. Not as warm tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, we're going to find temperatures popping back to about 70 degrees. Well, for tonight, here's what's going to happen to those temperatures. Yeah, it's going to be raining for a little bit around the valley, and then we get rid of the rain. We've got the clouds actually thinning overnight as we begin tomorrow. We're going to be in good shape, and we're going to be in the 40s when the sun comes up. We will see it. I think more clouds around by later in the day. In fact, the day is breaking down this way. We've got that sunshine. Note the way the clouds are building and it is cloudier by later in the day and high temperatures only <laughs> around 60 degrees, which by the way is unseasonably mild, but compared to today and what we're going to see Friday, you know, it's, it's all relative, I guess. So this is future cast. This is tonight. So we get through the overnight and here you go with some sunshine tomorrow. I do think all in all, we find more clouds around by later in the day, just the chance for a shower in Northern New York late in the day. And then again, tomorrow night. And here comes your Friday. Friday, it's a mix of sun and clouds. That is going to be a pretty breezy day around here with a stiff south wind. Temperatures are really going to pop, but note what's going on back to the west. This is what comes in for Saturday. So we'll find uh, a few showers around Saturday. It looks to be the wetter of the two weekend days. Tonight, we're looking at evening showers becoming partly cloudy late tonight. Temperatures in the 40s for most of us for low temperatures. And then for tomorrow, expect to see a mix of clouds and sunshine. I think we do find more clouds around by late in the day. Temperatures pushing 60, 61 right in the Champlain Valley. A little bit warmer down south, especially in the Connecticut River Valley. 61 tomorrow, breezy and mild on your Friday, 70 degrees. I think we'll find a few showers on Saturday. It's not a washout, 58. Sunday, the brighter of the two weekend days, but cooler, just 48. Showers Monday, showers certainly possible Tuesday into Wednesday. Next Thursday looks, well, relatively dry. And then Friday, some showers with mountain snow showers.